All right, this is another video for Hugo, Hugo for Melton, who's looking for online training for, I believe, his eight-year-old son. So, assume, um, you know, I think it's good practice just to start with a simple warm-up, good use of rope or jump rope, and, uh, right, assume you have a decent, right, two, two to two to four minute warm-up just to get moving. Let's say they're warmed up and limber. Then after that, I like to go right into um, ball on a rope training. So you have sense ball, that's a good option. You have, this is the handle's broken, but this is a skills, S-K-L-Z, skills kick trainer. And with these, you could just pr practice on, you know, developing uh, your son's touch on a ball. If you have a ball, he's got a ball, you're playing music, you're breathing, you're having a good time, you're outside, right? You can get, you could cram two months of training in days or weeks with one of these balls, right? This one's a little more expensive. This one's a little less expensive, but also, right, you could rotate between the two of them, or you could make one at home, uh, you know, get a size one or two ball, some duct tape and some rope, boom, you got yourself a ball on a rope, right? So this is a, I mean, I, I've been doing this for the past 20, maybe 27 years. This is a skills, a fun skills and drills routine that can last you a lifetime, and you can make it incrementally harder as you start to become more familiar with it right you can uh right it, it's there's a lot of ways to make it more challenging more difficult right with this one right we can go around the world right freeze it right so you're getting a lot of touches i mean maybe a wall would be better but i think with your portability and just in the comfort of your own home you know muhammad ali he would train six days a week all day right all day when he wasn't doing anything else just training Right, so I try to s replicate that. Everywhere you go, bring this ball and a rope around, hundreds and thousands and thousands of touches, right? Don't even th think about the number, just get a lot of touches, have, have a lot of fun doing it. Okay, that's with ball striking and balance, timing, rhythm, coordination, that's what that'll cover. The next thing I like to go into is soccer sequences, right? So the first one, the one that, the only one that if you only were to learn one, this would be the one, and it goes outside, outside inside outside inside switch foot and you're gonna say it out loud when you do it outside outside inside outside inside other foot outside outside inside outside inside outside outside inside outside inside right outside outside inside outside inside so with just that simple sequence outside outside inside outside inside you do that and then you could start to once they master that right bruce lee's quote i fear not the man who knows ten thousand kicks but one kick ten thousand times once they get that down then you could start to combo in different uh different uh, moves right so you go outside outside inside outside l move outside outside inside outside chop behind outside, outside, inside, outside, scissor, right? So it's a foundation for um, just, you know, I think it's rapid, rapid uh, ball mastery, but I think uh, there's something about saying it when you do it that makes it really, really a cohesive stick together. After you do that one, the next thing that, that I was taught is the barrel game. And it's basically have any bin at home you got a garbage can these things brute brute things 20 bucks each so you start with if your son's a beginner chances are he can't juggle well while moving forward so what you do you start with the bounce right so you go so you go right foot so it's kick bounce kick bounce kick bounce kick bounce kick Yeah, this is a size two ball you can use any ball you want. Been doing this for 25 years, but still challenging for me. Right? So it's right foot with the bounce, then left foot with the bounce.
alternating feet with bounce. with a bounce or right thigh no bounce so right, that's right thigh then left thigh So you have those, so it's ball on the rope first, then it's skills or dribbling sequences, then barrel game, that's three, and then number four. You want to be my helper? Okay, I'll see you later. All right, right on. Forever present? I don't know. Okay, I'll see you later then. Yes. I will. Uh, and I'll leave that one here so I can kick it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And the fourth game, we would finish on this game. Hey, relax. The fourth game is right 1v1 to cones with a small ball. So you and your son, or your son and his friends or whatever, or the daughter and friends, they come, right, make space. And the goal is knock the ball, knock the cone over with the ball, right? Simple as that. Ball in a rope, you bring that everywhere. Then it's dribbling sequences, the one to remember. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Right, your arms are moving. Outside, go slow at first, right? Slow, smooth, smooth as fast. Outside, outside. Inside, outside, inside, switch. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, switch. Right, and when you start to get comfortable with that, then you can allow the head to come up and see the field. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Right, you can do a few minutes of that. Then barrel game, even as a grown man, still, you know, that game is still fun for me, still challenging. You could start to use a weighted ball Right, you could run they start to get better at it. Two point two point two pound, right? This is like one kilogram ball. You could put weights in your hand. I use David Wex propulsors in the hand. You could wear a breath belt that goes around the waist, makes it hard to breathe. You could put a human locomotion, right? Humanlocomotion.com, triple stick strap. So right, even as a professional player, you have all those things and you space these things 
you know, 10, 15 yards apart, that's not easy. It's not easy, especially for the, the, for the most challenging player, get the times down. Um, so again, finish with 1v1 to cones. And this is something you could do in your back backyard and you'll have so much fun with it. So, right, have, have fun. Let me, let me know what you think. Uh, you could DM me, DM me or 508-505-1180 for uh, any feedback. Okay, thank you.